Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to do sort of an outro, I guess, to my men's game. I did an intro and then I kind of wanted to give you my thoughts on it. So maybe it's something that you might want to do. I know a lot of you guys are interested in decluttering and I just found, I had a lot of thoughts while I was doing the men's game that I kind of wanted to share with you because I think it's a really good way to declutter. There. Um, if I can figure it out, I am going to do a slideshow and just show you all of the images that I posted on Instagram and you can look at those while I talk. If I can't figure it out, then you can just watch me talk if you can stand it. One of my issues with decluttering at this point, my house is actually getting to a point of somewhat decluttered. I mean, it's, it feels like the open areas and the areas that you can see feel really decluttered. I don't feel like everything's caving in on me anymore. But, you know, I still feel like I have more, quite a bit more stuff than I need and a lot of it is just little stuff. I mean, I have pens and pencils and just, ran, you know, just random stuff. I know that sounds silly, but when you add, you know, I have too many pens and pencils, I have too many necklaces, I have too many pairs of shoes, too many clothes, too much makeup, too much shampoo, you know, um, too many knickknacks, you know, you start adding all of these things together and it, I don't want it to become a big problem again. I thought that the men's game was great for people who have lots of little stuff to declutter. It was perfect motivation for me to be like, okay, you know, how many pins do I need to get rid of today? But seriously, you, you know, you don't think of those things as taking up a lot of space or whatever, but I got rid of enough pins at one point to get rid of a whole place that I stored pins. So, yeah, does that make sense? Like even though it was little tiny small things, then I got rid of a bigger thing because I got rid of all of the little small things. I will say that it took a lot more effort than I expected. I definitely recommend you get a head start just because life gets hectic and you know, sometimes I would spend an hour, depending on my mood and depending on how I kind of felt about getting rid of things that day or depending on what category I was looking at, sometimes you know I would spend an hour or two like decluttering and I'm like, well, crap I barely have my items for the day so I definitely recommend you get a head start I think Sharice recommended if I if I understood her right I think she said she kind of worked I don't know that she necessarily worked backwards but she kind of tackled the some of the bigger categories the day 30 day 29 tackled those first or at least had in mind what she was going to do for those um I definitely recommend that because you get towards the end and you know you're like 29, 30, I did 31, um, 28, that's a lot of stuff to get rid of in one day. So you really want to start thinking ahead and I started almost two weeks ahead and I finished late. The one thing that I really like about this challenge is that you can start ahead and that when you, if you do start ahead, you can go ahead and photograph the items and get rid of them. It's not like a lot of times when I film declutters and stuff for you guys, a lot of times I have those items just sitting for a really long time until the declutter is filmed, until the, you know, the video is edited, until it's actually posted. So I feel like I can't get rid of those items because they're part of, you know, something. So the men's game, you photograph and it's gone. So unless you lose your phone or unless you delete your memory or whatever, you know, one and done. Like done, gone, out the door. I felt like the men's game was really, really good for me. For me personally, um, I really enjoyed doing the KonMari method, but I got kind of stalled with the KonMari method because in the beginning with the KonMari method, it's very structured and there's these distinct categories and it's like clothing and it's like clothing with sleeves and clothing made of cotton. No, but the it's like clothing, you know, um, accessories, shoes, it's very distinct books and you have these solid categories and they're things that you tend to know where they are in your house. And then after you get through those, it kind of wanders off. It's like kimono. Okay, first of all, we don't even use the word kimono, so it means things, but it just, it just means like things, I think, collectively, just things. But I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really get with that, you know? I was like, okay, I could do pictures, or I could do this, or I could, and I just kind of lost my way. I just really lost my way on it, and didn't wasn't excited about it anymore. 
and it just really needed that structure and it just wasn't working. Also another drawback of the KonMari method, which this one really um, you don't have, is the KonMari method you really have to group all of your, you're really intended to group all of these items together. So let me group every electronic cord I have in my entire house together. E yeah, if I knew where they were. If I knew where they were, I probably wouldn't need to be decluttering. I'm pretty organized, but I'm not that organized. So every time I would do a KonMari category, I would be just looking for stuff and making like a huge mess, trying to get everything together. And it ended up taking so much longer. It was very effective. I will say it is very, very, very effective. But you kind of, you have to have the time to dedicate to it. If you don't have the time, it gets overwhelming and you dread making the mess very quickly. Overall, I really recommend this project to anyone, regardless of where you are in your decluttering journey. Um, if you're just starting out, I think that you'll make it through the first little bit pretty easily and then maybe struggle towards the end, but that's okay. You know, you don't have to finish it on your first time or it might motivate you to really get started. But I think it's a good way to kind of ease you into um, making some progress and getting used to that feeling of getting rid of things and seeing the benefits of what you're getting rid of and like the, the new space that you've created in your life. So I, I really think it's good for people who are just starting out. I really think it's good for people who've been on their journey for a while. For me, it was a motivation, something different, something new to try, a different way of looking at things. And I feel like I made a lot of progress and I made a lot of progress on those little things in my life that are just kind of taking up space that don't, and I made a lot of progress just across the board. And one of the things that I was really able to do with this project was just go do maintenance. I just decluttered my kitchen not that long ago, but I still, I went through my kitchen again and I found plenty of things that were still in my kitchen. Um, I went through my clothing again. I went through... I went through quite a few things that I had already had just been through. It was just a good motivation to kind of just go through and do the maintenance and make sure that nothing had crept back in and sure enough things had. Uh, yeah, so I really recommend you guys to do this. If you would like to see all of my photos, I did kind of a um, hashtag things I don't need on a deserted island, I think. If you can find me on Instagram, it's Ruby rouge underscore reviews you can look at all my photos there but if you just want to see the men's game photos um click on one and it's like hashtag things i don't need on a deserted island but anyways last thing i would say is if you're interested in doing this i think it would be really cool to do it with a group of friends i think that's how it was originally designed to do sort of a challenge among friends like who quit first um, was the loser obviously yeah I recommend maybe do it with a friend and just kind of compete and see who can make it the longest and if you both make it till the end you're awesome so anyways that was really my experience with the men's game I am thinking about doing it again towards the first of the year at some point maybe I have no idea when but <laughs> I, I could stand to do it again I'm just not up to it right now I just got rid of I think it was over 496 items. I, I stopped counting on some categories because like I got rid of like 60 envelopes one day and that, you know, I'm not going to count each individual envelope. I could have, but I didn't. Um, so anyways, that is all and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.